No. The Bible says that life has begun in the womb of the mother as soon as the sperm meets the egg of a woman. Today, many of you are inside a place called an abortion clinic. They call it Atlanta Women's Medical Center. But in reality, it is a place where doctors and nurses are paid to save the life of people. But in this case, and in this place, what they're doing is killing the life of innocent babies and children that are in the womb of a mother. We're here today to ask you to repent. There is hope in Christ. Christ is our Savior. When a mother trusts in Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross and how he resurrected and in his whole work, she will be saved. The Lord Jesus Christ promised us in his word that he can be our defender. He can be our provider. He can protect us. He can protect your baby. There's no such a thing as a righteous person being hungry. For God promises us in his word that his righteous people will not need to beg for bread. God will provide if you trust in him, trusting in Jesus Christ means that I will not, my, I will not bend to my wicked ways through lie. Good job. Through lies to letting Satan lead in me to kill my baby. When I trust in Jesus Christ, I do not let, let Satan Be careful, Bobby. lead me to do the wrong thing. I do not bend to my wicked ways, for the Bible says that we have a heart that is deceitful and desperately wicked. So when I'm in a difficult situation, I pray to the Lord Jesus Christ as his child, because I trust in him, because his word has power in my life. to help me overcome the situation with the truth, standing firm in righteousness, that I might not sin against there, him. The, chair. the Lord Jesus Christ always gives us a way out of sin. When we think, good job, Michael. When we think we are under the water with problems, He is the one that promises us that He will give us a way out. But the way out is not through lying or killing or getting our ways. But it is by submitting, praying, clinging on God, and trusting that
that his ways, even though they're harder, are the right ways. And when we step on them and we do his ways, we're trusting in Christ, we're obeying Christ, and Christ is pleased and he blesses us with his protection, with his provision, by giving us all that we need. That gives us hope. Christ is a mighty God. Through the Father's will, Christ was sent to die so that justice for our sins will be paid. Justice was paid. No, está dañando la matica, papi. Justice was paid when Christ died on the cross for those who trust in Christ. When we trust in Christ, His perfect righteousness cover us and covers the crimson stain of our sins. When we trust in Christ and in his righteousness, the Bible says that my sins become white as snow. And his righteousness, by the will of the Father, when we trust in Jesus Christ, is transferred to us and we are, or we become, white as snow. We must repent of our sins, which means to submit to the will of God, to submit to the word of God by being obedient to the Lord Jesus Christ. What he said in his word, how he died on the cross, compelled by his love. He loved us so much that he died for us. The penalty of our sins, so we don't end up in a lake of fire, is paid by the Lord Jesus Christ. Today, if you're in this clinic, and if you have aborted, you have been led by Satan. Repent from your sins, that Satan will let you go, and God will take possessions of your lives. God cannot do against your will unless you let go and you let God. You cannot do the will of God unless God draws you to himself. So today, if God is convicting your heart, do not harden your heart. Open your heart to what he's doing to you through talking by his word, talking and convincing your heart of doing the right thing. Conscience is something that God has given us. In the Greek, conscience means with knowledge. God has made us have a conscience, so we will have a conscience or knowledge of him. That's why when you steal something, you have 
nervousness and your heart beats faster because your conscience is telling you that you're doing something wrong. And God, through these actions of the conscience, maybe sweat hands, a beating heart, He's telling you to turn away from what you're doing. If you were nervous today, when you were walking to the abortion clinic, if you were afraid, if your heart was beating harder, that was God talking to you through your conscience. Your conscience was given for you to listen to it. Don't listen to your heart. The Bible says the heart is deceitful and desperately wicked. Listen to your conscience. God speak through us, through our conscience. Your conscience will tell you when you're doing something wrong. These people in this abortion clinic will, will convince you that abortion is not murder. In the eyes of God, abortion is murder.